Well, hey family, this is Darlene. Wanted to thank you for stopping by the Jury by BDK YouTube channel. I know you didn't come here for a sermon. <laughs> so here's the video and we'll talk. Well, hey family, this is Darlene. I am wrapping another, another bead because I'm going to make another bracelet. And all I'm going to do is take the wire evenly in the bead, fold the bead up like the wire up like this. And then this is what it looks like. And then I am going to figure out which one of these beads I want to start with. And I think I'm going to start off with one of these with the little rhinestones. So I'm going to put that on there and you can see how it falls off on the edge like that. I don't want it like that. So I'm going to grab the wire and then put my thumb right here and then fold that wire down like that. So I'm pushing it down to where it sits on top of the bead like that. And then I want it to be a little bit further over. So it's like that. And then I'm gonna take this piece of wire, fold it down. So you can see what that looks like on the top. And then I'm going to take this piece of wire and then wrap it around the wire that's standing up right here. Just like that. And the reason why I do that is because I want to lock the wire around that piece of wire and that'll give me a little bit more security with the pieces just kind of staying on here. I didn't cut a big piece of wire. Um, it's just enough, hopefully, to do what I want to do. And I'm going to use one of these little small, small beads. If I can get it on here. Um, I can't, so. And that's only because the wire is kind of bent at the top. So I'll use this one. Um, actually, nope, I don't want to use that one. Let's use this pretty one. So it looks like that. And then all I'm going to do is bend the wire down. And when I bend the wire down, you can see I don't like the way that looks. So I'm going to take this bead off. And then I'm going to probably take this bead off and just work with this round bead. Now, if I figure out a way to get the wire on here to where I can put this bead on here and it looks positioned on here good, I'll go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do now is fold the wire down. Be like this, and I'm just going to wrap it around the bead like that. And then it comes up and around. So now I'm going to grab some other beads uh, let's see we'll grab a couple of these and then i think i want to grab another little small one kind of stack them on here so this is what it looks like and then i'm going to just fold the wire down to where you can see how they're stacked on there together I'm going to take the wire around this way. And then what I'm going to have to do with this piece of wire is cut it and then fold it under this wire, which is what I'm going to do now because I didn't cut a long piece of wire and that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it about right here. I'm going to take my pliers, turn that wire right up under the other wire and then you can see how it just it went up under the wire and then it came out hopefully you can see that and you can see the, the pointed part right here so i'm going to take that pointed in turn it again and then take my pliers and now i'm going to go ahead and fold it under like that and i want to make sure i don't feel anything poking and i don't nothing is sticking out nothing is poking so now I have this piece of wire and this piece of wire, I'm going to put a bead right here because it already looks empty right here. So let's go with, because this is a 
straight piece of wire. We'll see if we can beat it right there. And you can see how that looks. And then we're going to fold the wire. Take it around. Bring it up. So it folds around the back. And then I need to try to get at least two or three more beads here at the top. And see, these are not going to look good. These flat ones, because I don't like it like that. It makes them look empty. Let me try one of these. And then you can see how it would be gathered all together like that. But then this side is a little vacant. But if I take it, Let's take this bead off and then put the round bead. Yeah, I don't like the way that looks. I do like the way this one looks right here though. So we'll put that and then let's try with another one of these gold beads. And you can see with the wire how it fills it in. So let's see how we're going to get this on here real good. So that'll fit right there. And then I think I might be able to get one other, one other bead on here. So let's see if we put that there. And I need to be able to take the end of this wire and then fold it under this piece of wire. So what we're going to do, and I'm not going to cut it because I need for it to go under there. So if you can see, that's the, that's the long wire. And then right here is where I want to put it, right up under there. So I want to make sure these um, beads are tight and I'm going to put my thumb on them to hold them. I'm going to take the pliers and then twist it right up under that wire. You might not be able to see it because I need to be able to see it. Sometimes it's a challenge, but I like the way they look, so I'll go ahead and deal with the challenge. And then there's the wire. So I was able to get it over the under the wire. Now all I want to do is wrap it around the wire. One more time. So now I need my pliers, and I'll take the pliers, and I'll smash it under. like that. As long as I don't feel anything, I'm good. So that's how that one looks. Um, I think I'm going to use another piece of wire because I want to put more here, more beads right here, and then more beads over here. So that's what I'm going to do. And because I already got a piece of wire that's going through, I don't have to thread this piece of wire. I can literally just use this wire and push this wire under wire that's already secure. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'll do it from here and push that wire through like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more beads on here. And I don't need too many, just uh, one or two. I wonder if I can use these now. Let's see.
because I want it to look nice and full. And if I take those, you see me trying to get these on here, right? But they, they just don't look good. They don't lay right. So that only means I'm gonna just use a different bead. And I'm looking for a bead that's a pretty, pretty kind of bead. Um, I like that one, that little glass bead. And then add a little extra something to it. Let's take the, that glass bead off and just put this one on. Then that adds a little bit. And I'm going to take the, the wire under this wire right here. I'm going to thread it right up under it. And then pull that wire. So that will make it secure. And then it adds, it adds that little checker part right there. And then I'm going to put another bead over here. I'm going to cut the end off because this is... Twisted, I won't be able to get anything on right there. And then let's see. I'm looking for some pretty beads. I'm going to put that one there. And then let's see what else I got. And then we'll go ahead and put that blue bead on there. So it's filling in really nice. Okay, so I got this wire. So now what I got to do is figure out how I'm going to close it off. And what I'm going to do is take this piece of wire here and then wrap it under both of these wires the best that I can. So I'm going to get it through there, pull it under. So now I need to pull the wire. It's almost like threading. So I'm going to just keep pulling, keep pulling that wire until it, it tightens up. I need to and then what will happen sometime is you can only pull the wire so much and then what you have to do is I'm gonna show you so I pull the wire and then that that did come kind of tight so that that's good but what will happen is like right up here I don't like the way it looks so all I'm gonna do is take my pliers and then just I'm gonna do it the other way and just Dang. And just fold it in like that. And that tightens up the wire. And it gives it a nice little look up in there. So then I'm going to take the wire around on both sides. Um, so this side I already wrapped it. And then it looks like I can wrap it one more time right here to close it off. And that's what I'm going to do right up in here. So it's like threading. So that came through. Don't pull that wire all the way like that. Nice and tight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I'm going to cut about that much. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and curl it under. So I'm going to roll it. Take that wire and roll it. And keep rolling it. Until it rolls behind the other wire. And then what it does, it hides. So there's nothing there for you can feel. You can't feel anything. It's really soft. Like nothing. And I'll take my pliers and just to reinforce it, just close it down real good. 
So that's nothing. And then it almost looks like a bun on top of a head, right? So I'm going to take this one. And right here, I want to put another bead. So I'm going to take this right here, the wire. And then I'm going to put one more bead. And let's see what I want that to be. these and I'll put that there and then take the wire and then I'll put it here it's like threading finding a place to thread it pull the wire through And then we got that and then I'll do it one more time because that's a nice place I can I can do it close it off pull that wire nice and snug and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the wire off about right there too much so I'm gonna go ahead and cut just a little bit as long as I don't feel anything when I rub across that's good that means the wire got tucked really well So I don't feel anything. I just got a, a stack bead. Um, and then most of the beads are down on this end. And you can see right here, this part is still a little vacant. Um, but that's okay. I'll go ahead and use the bead anyway. I still like the way it came out. So we're going to go ahead and make a bracelet. Um, somebody was saying when they, they can't really tie with the... With the 1.5 millimeter, it is thick cord, so you really got to pull it when, you, um, when you're when you tying the bracelet. I mean, you really got to pull it nice and snug when you uh, are tying the knot, but I'll show you. So we're going to go ahead and use our bead. Oh, I like these, right? And we're trying to get our cord through. We should be able to get it through, right? We should be able to, and we did. So this is going to be our focal. And then I think what I will do, since I wasn't able to put these on the actual bead to wrap, I'll just put them along the side. It'll be like this, and then let's use some of this wire. And that's aluminum wire. Go ahead and mix it with some purples. See what we come out with. I like that. It almost looks a little vintage.
So we're just kind of mixing in the colors. See what we get. So this one don't have a through hole. I don't think this one does either. No, uh, I don't think this one does either. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and add another one of these. I'll put another one of these. Let's see, a couple more purples in here, I think. Put that. And then let's see what we looking like. It looks like a nice vintage bracelet. And I'm almost tempted to put some more on this side, some more covering on this side just to fill it in. And um, I think I'm going to do that. I am definitely getting ready to do that. And I am going to use all these beads that I'm using. However, I'm getting ready to take it apart. And I'm going to add some more beads on this side because I want it real nice and full. Okay, so I don't need a whole lot. So I'm going to take the wire because it's nicely tucked all the way around. I'm going to take the wire because I want to push it through here to end out on this side somewhere. So I should be able to do that without an issue. So that's what we're going to go for and see how, see if it works out for us. If not, I'll just take it up this way, which it looks like it's going to allow me to do. And... So we're going to find some beads we want to put on here. Let's start with this little pretty frost bead. Because we want to cover this side. And why don't we just go with a couple of them. So we can... Uh, let me see. Let me do this first. I'm going to take that one off. And I'm going to secure this side first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to wrap the wire around. Then that way I don't have to worry about this side at all. So I'm going to take this wire. Go ahead and wrap that wire around. And I need it to come, I need it to come through to the other side like that. And there it is right there. So I'm going to take it. And go ahead and close it. Close, close it around. If I can catch it. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and close it around. Sometimes you got to mess with it. And I like the way it looks, so I don't mind messing with it. So now we got we got our little um, our bee right there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bend it. So I'm going to bend the wire here, like that. Then that way I can put another bead on here. So 
so it gives it a little more personality like that. And then I'm going to grab another bead, which will be this one, this purple. We're going to put that right here, bend that up. And then we got that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire and bring it around right here on the side. Like, Darlene, you be doing all that for them bees. I sure do. So if I'm doing all this, you could imagine somebody else that don't do it. What does that make my pieces? Absolutely different from anybody else's because I'm going to take the time to, uh, to try to create a masterpiece. So this wire wants to fight with me, but I did get it through. So give me a second, I'm trying to find it right there. So if I take the time to do this and somebody else don't, what does that mean? That means my pieces are gonna be different than anybody else's. And I do like the way they look, you know, when it's gathered all like that, it almost, look, it looks very vintage. So then I'm going to take, now you can see how it's nice and filled in. And I think I'm going to do one more bead. And we're going to do one more bead. Have it nice and chunky. Like my little niece's thighs, Miss Kayla. Miss Kayla got thick thighs. If you on my, um, if you're a friend on my Facebook uh, page, you'll see I generally will post pictures of my little niece Kayla and I call her Auntie Sugar Baby with the thick thighs. <laughs> okay, so this look as thick as Miss Kayla thighs. She's seven months old today, too. The cutest little comments baby you ever want to meet. Her brother is the same way, just a sweet little boy. Well, Kayden is probably, I think, 11 now. But they're the, the coolest little kids. Okay, so with this one, I am going to take this one back and I'm going to take the wire through here and close it off. I'm going to leave the wire like this until I actually get it through so I can have wire to work with. As long as I don't feel anything and that wire is wrapped around there good enough to where I know nothing is going to fall off. It's not going to fall apart. It's not going to poke anybody. It's not going to stick anybody. Um, I don't feel anything, no rough edges, no nothing. Everything is nice and smooth. And then this is what we got. We got a nice chunky. It almost looks like a bonnet or like, you know, how them ladies be wearing them big hats and they be having like all the stuff on their hats. This video is almost 30 minutes. Okay, but anyway, let me get this done. So I am going to go ahead and beat it. All right, and we're going to beat it exactly like we had it, if I can remember. Um, did I put this on here? I think I did. Let me see. I don't want to do it that way. If I did it like that the last time, I don't want it like that now. I'm going to go ahead and put these on. And then now I'm going to put the little aluminum wire spacers on. And then we'll put our green beads on. And I'm using these green because they have a little bit of that pink in them that matches. 
So let me see if I like it like this, though. Um, I don't like it like that. And the reason why I don't like it like that is because the pink and the pink together. So I think what I did last time is I took, I had the, um, I had the aluminum. So we're going to put these here and then that'll break up the, the color. Okay, and then now we will put these on here. Yeah, that looks a little better. And then we'll put our green beads. All right, that one worked on that side. So let's see about this side. And that worked. And let's add purple. Add this color. And I'm trying to go a little fast now because the video is past 30 minutes. So I don't be trying to make really long videos because I don't be thinking people want to be seeing them longer than, you know, 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. And if you guys don't. If you guys want to see videos longer than that, like I'm actually making all three of the bracelets or all four of the bracelets or, you know, watching me wrap three and four of these beads at a time in one video, let me know and I'll do that. My thought is people just don't want to be watching them videos that long like that. So I break them up. But if you guys don't mind watching them like that, let me know and I'll just, you know, videotape it. Everything that I'm doing from the beginning all the way through instead of breaking it up like what I do. Because a lot of times when I come on the video, you'll notice that the bead will already be wrapped. And that's only because it, you can see what it takes to wrap the video, to wrap the bead. And I'll be like, okay, people ain't want to see all that. But if you look at that, that's a beautiful bracelet. But let me, let me finish with this. We're gonna go ahead and add a couple more, a uh, couple more beads on here. Ain't there. Okay. And then, oh my God, that is gorgeous. Look at that. That looks very vintage, right? And we are going to go ahead and close this off. And I think what I'm going to do, I need a hole. I need a bead with a big hole. So a nice big hole. And I think I'm going to take one of these off. <clears throat> and we are going to close it off with, um, let's see what we got over here. All right, let's do this. 15 gauge. And I literally, when I tie the 15 gauge, I pull it nice and tight. I mean, as tight as I can get it without it feeling like it might break. And then I began to tie it. And then you got to really, you got to pull it. Because the more that you pull it, if you notice, it stretches the cord out. And as it stretches, you want it to tie together. And then that is what, what holds it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it again. And I'm pulling it nice and tight. Nice and tight because it is thick. And then I'm going to wrap one time, two time. I'm going to pull it nice and tight. And I'm kind of heavy handed too. So I'm going to do that. And then one more time. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. And then once you get it tight, nice and good, just go ahead. If you want to burn it or put some glue on the end. But I'm gonna do one more time, one time, and then twice, one, two, nice and tight. And then I'm gonna do one more time, nice and tight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it.
and then I'm going to pull it inside of that hole. And usually when you got a nice hole and it's a knot this big, it pulls into there. The hole, the knot fits real snug in the hole. So that's extra kind of reinforcement if you think about it. This is gorgeous. It looks very vintage. Look at that, right? Just put this all gathered right here. It almost looks like, um, yeah, like vintage. I really like these. I'm going to do, I got two, four, five. I got five more of these I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and cover the beads and make a couple more bracelets like these. And I really like the way, um, you know, the way they came out with all the different colors. And that bead like that and everything is really secure. You don't feel any anything sticking, anything poking out. All the wire and everything is real secure. You can see what it takes to wrap it. Um, it takes a little bit and, you know, everybody is not going to do that. So if you take the patience or got the patience to be able to just sit and wrap it and make sure it's tucked really well and wrap really good and all that good stuff. This is what it comes out looking like. And trust me, everybody not going to sit and do that. So this is really, really nice. I like this. But anyway, Darling Life with Jerry by BD Can. Guess what? Ooh, thanks for sweating it out with me. We'll talk.